The gentlewoman from New Mexico is recognized for three minutes. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Democrats believe in putting people over politics. Last Congress, Democrats tackled climate change and brought down energy costs for the American people. Those investments in the Inflation Reduction Act have already spurred investments in clean energy projects and created good paying jobs. At a time when we see rising costs, the Inflation Reduction Act will save, will save the average American family $1,800 a year. The Biden administration is also moving forward with an important rule to limit methane emissions nationwide. New Mexico, New Mexico led the way on this. We strengthened our methane emissions rules in 2021. The Energy Information Administration data shows that even though we strengthened our em emissions, uh, methane emissions, we grew year after year for five years in natural gas and energy production. So the land of enchantment shows us that we don't have to sacrifice the environment for energy production. But HR1 would sacrifice the environment. They would put polluters over people. And members of the majority are pursuing this at a time when CEOs for large corporations have made record profits. When the industry made $451 billion in profits just last year, New Mexicans and people throughout rural America were taking groceries out of their car to pay for gas. HR1 will not make it cheaper for the ranchers I know in Colfax County to fill up their trucks. Republicans dispute this and say the bill will lower costs. Let's see. I offered an amendment to see if that's true. My amendment simply states that HR1 does not take effect until the Secretary of Energy and the Interior certify that it will lower costs for American taxpayers and consumers. What did the Republicans do with this common sense amendment? They voted it down unanimously. What are they afraid of seeing? What are they afraid of debating? Reality is HR1 guts our long-standing environmental safeguards. It makes it easier to dump toxic and hazardous waste. It threatens clean drinking water and lines the pockets of the wealthiest CEOs. The Clean Water Act has long been key to protecting America's water. As we say, agua es vida, water is life. This bill guts our Clean Water Act in favor of polluters. The Republicans also rejected my amendment to protect our water for farmers, ranchers, and tribes from mining. We have to remember that the mining that is proposed that would decimate, decimate our waters are often proposed by Chinese-owned subsidiaries or foreign-owned subsidiaries. The Republicans also blocked an amendment that would have allowed that would the have required time has expired. That Chinese subsidiaries not the gentlewoman's Time has expired. Minerals. I yield back. Gentleman from Massachusetts reserves. Gentleman from Pennsylvania is recognized.